Kurt Russell and Kim Cattrall star in the fantasy Big Trouble in Little China, our movie at eight tonight. Right now, Anya makes her mind up. L.A. or Charnham? Tough choice, isn't it, really? Sponsored by Airwick Mobile Air. Are you sure you're all right going back to work? Of course. But that boy Liam's still in the same hospital. Liam. How are you? Imagine what it'll be like when I go back for my HIV test results. And then we've got to do it all over again in three months' time. I should have left us alone. Everything would have been fine. You've killed a man. How does that make you feel? I think you should see this. There's a report on an attempted rape. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make a move. I've got a cafe to run. Are you going to get changed? Not coming. But yesterday, you said you... Sorry, I can't. Why? Nothing's changed. Everything's changed, Les. He tried to do it again. Another woman was nearly raped, and that's all my fault. No, that's simply not true. That night, I made sure I scrubbed and scrubbed my body. I threw away my clothes. I removed every last trace of evidence. Oh, you're not responsible. Because of me, he wasn't caught. Oh, you're not responsible, Denise. Because of me, other women are going to suffer. You can't let it get to you like this. Don't let him win. Come to the cafe, even if it's just for now. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. Let me take him. I don't think you should go to work today. I think you should stay at home. You look pale. You've barely eaten. I don't think you were ready to go in yesterday. There'll be no one to cover my shift. Tanya, please. Mum, I'm going back in. I need to go back in. Look at you. Stay at home with me. Please. Right, Mum and Anya are due back today. I'm going to stick around for lunch. Don't know, Mike. Look, I want you to be here. This family's falling apart before I've even had a chance to keep it together. All right, don't burst a blood vessel. I'll be here. Right. We'll all be here. Yeah. But for how long, eh? Well, Anya might decide not to go. Well, I wouldn't put money on it. It's L.A. The grass really is greener. Why wouldn't she? Yeah, you've got a point there. Look, with Ben coming out, this is the first chance in years we've had to be together. I'd just like us all to be under one roof for a while, that's all. Come here, Mrs Costello. Hey, <laughs> listen to the missus. I'm a divorcee, remember? Oh, Gary. Thanks for being OK about everything. What? I didn't knock back the proposal, you know, because I don't love you. It's just a... I've got other stuff to deal with before we can think about getting married. It's all right, Chrissy. I understand. Oh, aren't you a bit old for that sort of thing? Hey, you're never too old, Mel. In your opinion. What's up with her? Oh, she just called Brendan to tell him about Sean. I think he brought a few things back for her. Yeah, poor Mel. I mean, aren't there any decent blokes out there? No. I think I bagged the last one. Hmm. <laughs> There's formula made up in the fridge. We're fine. There are nappies in the top drawer. We're fine, Tanya. This isn't right. Talk to me. And say what? I know it's happened. I know Sean's dead. Tell me what you're thinking. I can't help you if you don't. You don't want to know. Darling, I do. I can help. Not with this. I'm on my own with this one. You are never on your own. In work yesterday, I saw the boy who killed Sean. And for the first time in ages, I felt something. I felt angry. 
I should have moved him to some other hospital. I just came across him in a corridor. You shouldn't have had to go through that. Oh, Mum. After what he's done to you. I talked to him. And then I left him to die. He stopped breathing. And I did nothing. I left him. I left him to die. Just like he left Sean. Three skinny lattes to go, please, Les. Coming up. Hey, man, how you doing? Fine, thanks. Thought I'd risk brunch in here, despite the plastic Santas, fairy lights and baubles. Well, you should be safe soon. It's 12th night. Hey? You know, the official end to Christmas. All your decorations have to come down, or you risk a year of bad luck. <sighs> Sorry about you and Yasmin. These things happen. I'll survive. It's not all bad, though. I get to take you out for that drink now. I'm not so sure. Sounds like this 12th night thing is something you and I should be celebrating. So what do you reckon? I don't think so. I'm sorry, Owen. Thanks. How's Mum? Oh. I should never show that newspaper article. I should have found out anyway. Maybe, but it was hardly gentle, was it? Woman makes lucky escape from brutal attack. At least for it might have been attempted rape. That journey should be out of scaremongering. Maybe she gets some rest. Oh, and who'll look after this place, eh? Dad, you are more important. Oh, I'm all right. Are you, though? I mean, really? I'm still here. I don't know, Kelly. Every time we get over one hurdle, there's another. And you say this boy, this Liam, you say he had a heart attack in front of you? You were in shock. You, you were shocked. You couldn't react. I turned my back and walked away. I was looking at the one person I didn't want to see. He needed me, and I didn't want to help. I didn't care if he lived or died. He needed me to do my job, and I couldn't. I just couldn't. I should never have let you go in. You weren't ready to go back to work. No, Mum, I knew exactly what was happening. I knew Liam was dying, and I didn't care. For that crucial split second, I didn't give a damn. I wanted him to die. Hi, Dad. Hey, how's my favourite girl? Oh, mm. Missed you. I missed you too, darling. So how's Grand and Granddad? Old. <laughs> Can I get a coffee? Yeah, you know what a kettle is. Do you want some juice, Annie? Please. Katie's off visiting her fella. Oh, I wondered where the welcoming committee got to. Yeah. So did your folks send me their love? Actually, they were remarkably restrained. I was looking forward to a bit of Conrad slagging. Disappointed they didn't take the bait. Yeah, well, maybe they were just behaving themselves for Anya's sake. Could be. So, uh, she decided about her later. No. I didn't want to push her. Sure. We're not going to lob him in. It's good to have you back. This boy dying, it had nothing to do with you. It had everything to do with me. He needed help. I didn't give it. He probably would have died anyway. We don't know that. My job is to keep people alive. I didn't even try. Well, what were you supposed to do face to face with a man who killed Sean? He wasn't a man. He was a boy. A stupid boy. He killed Sean. He killed Harry's father. And I killed him. Let him die. That makes me no better than he was. I could lose my job for what I did. I could go to prison. But you know what the worst thing is? I got an eye for an eye. And it means absolutely nothing. No sense of justice. No balancing the books. Just a big, empty nothing to join the other big, empty nothing I've been feeling for the last five days. I think we should just keep next Saturday simple. Just the six of us. I'll make us a nice meal or something. Shepherd's pie was always Ben's favourite. <laughs> Shepherd's pie it is, Ben. What do you reckon, Anya? Yeah, sounds good. Sorry I'm late. I had to go and see Jake. <laughs> nice to see you got your priorities sorted out. Did you have a good time? Yeah, lovely, thanks. Welcome home, Junior. So, Simon's still okay with you staying to see Ben, yeah? <laughs> oh, 
Why shouldn't he be? Besides, do him good to be without me for a while. Make him appreciate me a little more when I get back. So, all we've got to decide now is where you want to live. You made up your mind yet? <laughs> L.A. or Charnham, the bright lights or the 40-watt bulb, eh, Anya? <laughs> you don't have to say now if you want more time to think about it. No, I've made up my mind. I want to go to Los Angeles with Mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, my phone bill's going to go right through the roof then, isn't it? You're not going to work. Of course I am. We need to talk about this, Tanya. I've told you what happened and why. What more is there to say? If anyone says anything, don't tell them. Don't let them know you were there. What? I mean it. You've told me. No one else needs to know. Mum. I know you, Tanya. You've inherited your father's ridiculous sense of morality. You always have to be honest. You always have to tell the truth. But, and I love you for it, but... This is different. A boy died. You could end up in prison. I couldn't bear to lose you. I couldn't stand it. I'll see you later, Mum. Better. I'm glad I caught you. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I thought that you should hear it from me. The boy is suspected of stabbing Sean, Liam Johnson, the way you treated him. The thing is, he died yesterday. We think it was a heart attack. Are you okay? I'm fine. Thanks for letting me know. Sorry, John, I'm really late for my shift. I'll see you later. I'm so jealous of you. L.A., while I'm stuck here in sunny old Charming. Maybe we can come and visit, eh? I'm really going to miss you, you know. You've got Ben and Katie and Dad. Are you all right about this? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, don't lie, Conrad. I know you're upset. Yeah, well, as soon as it looks like I'm getting back a son, I'm losing a daughter. But Conrad, she's made her choice. Yeah, with a little bit of help from you, no doubt. <laughs> Just because it didn't go your way doesn't mean I've influenced her decision. I built a good relationship with her while you've been away sunning yourself with your fancy man. Oh, that's what this is all about, isn't it? Simon! Just like old times. Milkshake anymore? But you didn't even want the kids when I first suggested it. Yeah, well, I've changed. Oh, funny that. Because I'd say it feels just like the good old days. You and me arguing in one room and the kids listening in the other. You might think you've changed. I don't. To know how to handle it. Are you okay? Fine, really. Fifteen years I have him. And this is all I get back. I've just lost my son. I'm so sorry. It was a car accident. I didn't even know Liam could drive. Liam? Liam Johnson? Did you treat him? Thank you. I know you did everything you could. What are you reading? I'm just trying to find out more about this poor woman that was attacked. Mum, this isn't doing you any good. Oh, this is doing me the world of good, Kelly. Do you want to know why? Because I'm angry. For the first time in weeks, I have stopped being scared, and I am angry. I want this man caught. We all want him caught, but... Look... I should have told the police as soon as it happened. I should have said, and I didn't. Instead, I threw away every last scrap of evidence. None of this is your fault. I know that. But maybe I can do something to make sure it doesn't happen again. 
for all our sakes. Why don't you just leave it to the police? No, I need to find this woman. Maybe between the two of us we can piece enough together to get him. Do you have any kids? One a boy. Like me. One minute is my little boy. The reason I get up in the mornings, the reason I keep going. Next. I never knew he was involved in all this stuff. Nicking cars, carrying knives. I know parents always say that, but I never knew. They killed a man, that's what they're saying. What about his poor family, what they must be going through? I couldn't believe it at first. I said, you must have made a mistake. Leon wouldn't do that. And I've been nicked a few things. Got in trouble at school, but nothing like this. I used to say to him, you've let me down, I'm ashamed of you. It's a terrible thing to say to yourself. That man who died, I was going to write to his family to say sorry. But I don't think they want to hear from me, do you? Mum and Dad arguing. It's not your problem. It's just the way they are with each other. I know. So what's up? I don't really want to go to L.A. Then why do you say you do? Anya, come on. I heard Mum talking to Gran. And what does she say? She doesn't like it there. She isn't getting on with Simon. I thought if I moved out there, it might cheer her up. If Mum's having a bad time, it doesn't mean you have to go. Look, if things are bad between her and Simon, she needs to sort it out, not you. It's not your responsibility. You need to tell them the truth, Anya. No, please. Anya, you've got to. No, I don't want you to say anything either. Promise me you won't. You, me, tonight, what'd you say? I say your ex is a friend of mine. Loyalty, a nice quality, but I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> I'm washing my hair. Looks all right to me. Come on, what have you got to lose? Okay, then. You made the right decision. Well, why do I get the feeling I'm going to regret this in the morning? You won't, I promise you. Pick up from your place at seven. Wear something gorgeous. say that time's a healer, but how does this get any better with time? I hope it does. Were you with him when he died? No. Do you think he suffered? It was a heart attack. I believe it was a heart attack. It would have been quick. Oh, at least that's something. I should have been with him. I couldn't afford to take the time off work. I should have been with him. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, come on, don't be silly now. You've got nothing to be sorry about. I'll be fine. I might miss you a bit, but we can keep in touch, can't we? Eh? Yeah. And maybe if I put in enough overtime, I can save up and come over and see you and you can show me the sights. How about that? There's so much for us to do out there. There's the shopping malls and the beach. Mm. Sounds great, doesn't it, Anya? You and Simon must be so happy out there. Well, we are. Yeah, terrible day at work. Dave pretended he's over Ireland, which obviously he isn't. The people's relationships can be a minefield. I mean, we're busier than we ever have been. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh. That's it. Oh. I'm just not sure I like the reason why, though. Well, Denise getting attacked, Sean being killed, people are terrified to walk anywhere. Every cab we've got has been out all day. Hello, Mr Costello. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, Dad. Owen's here for me. We're off out. Um, well, what's about your dinner, Melanie? Well, sorry, Mum, but I'll pass. Good night. 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 
did that just happen? Well, we must be both dreaming. But I thought he was Yasmin's boyfriend. Yeah, so did I. Did you say anything? No. Thank God. I met Liam's mum today. And I stood there while she told me how much she loved her son. How much she was going to miss him. Did you tell her how much you were missing Sean? How could I? She was saying how sorry she felt for Sean's family, for us. While she was dealing with all that misery, that grief, she was thinking of us. It doesn't change anything. Her son still killed Sean. All last night, while I was lying in bed going over what had happened, not once did I think what she'd be going through. What have I done, Mum? You've lost your best friend. You've lost Harry's father. What you did, given the circumstances, it's understandable. How are you going to tell the hospital what happened? If you do, Harry could lose both of his parents. And if I don't, what then? If I tell them, I lose everything. And if I don't, how do I live with myself, Mum? How do I live with what I've done? Tanya, please. I have to. I'm going to call John. I'm going to tell him everything. And the defensive wall she's put around herself breaks down tomorrow as she accepts that she'll never see Sean again. It's a sad one. Be here at 6.30.